All right, so I got my piece cut. Took a while, but you know, just lay it in there and cut it the right length. All right, in the page here. All right, and don't cut too short. It's always good to go a little long. And then push it up in the back, because your background's gonna cover that. So yeah, this is your divider there. And you know, this is a step you could skip, but honestly, if you think about it, if you're gonna go spend the money for a nice vivarium, you see how that's up, a little base, and that's just in the front. You don't want it up at the front, up at the back. But if you're gonna go to the trouble, spend all the money for a nice vivarium, you might as well take every little detail into consideration and make it nice. Okay. Your background's just gonna cover that. All right, but before we quick put that in, um, we're going to put the, uh, the stuff in the eco earth. So Garrett was at the camera, mm -hmm. and actually I'm gonna turn the light on. Does it blind the camera? All right, no, it didn't. Almost. Okay, and those lights will get brighter. I found out. Is there new? Okay. So, eco, eco stuff, eco earth is pretty heavy. So, you go over here, and a bunch of water will probably run to the top. Fine. Put that drain into your drainage layer. It's kind of good for. Yeah. Get that out. Well, it's a bit dry. It'll get wet. Okay. And I want to have... Okay. I want to have a nice, thick layer. Because I like... thick substrates. They look better. I think. Get the rest of the bottom. And this is the wet stuff. And you are going to get dirty, but... Hey, what can you get to do with reptiles and not get dirty? Even though the animals are coming. And it's just fun. You get to and dirt. Say so you're working. You're building. Hey. Okay. Alright. Up these. that nice. But that's not it. Like I said, and details. Make sure you cover that up, by the way, in the back, so you can't see the screen. Okay. Like I said, going into details. What I do. Get my hands washed off here. Oh no. Oops. Sorry. Um. I love that. That was. Okay. Right. It's probably a really boring video watching me do this. Yeah, I like these paper towels. They're so handy. Oh wait, probably use this again later. Okay, right. but what I do, take a look. So very pretty. Extra stuff to add to the substrate, yay. Okay, see this is moss, like this in the frog cage, like dehydrated, like in a brick, like the eco earth was. And these are just little branch things. So, um, I'm just gonna take, eat the rest of this brick. It could expand quite a bit, but oh man, uh, actually pause the video for a second. So we got the moss done, and make sure you use drinking water um, that you would drink, because these are your animals and you need to treat them um, good. Um, reptiles deserve it. All right, so I got the moss in, and I added a bunch of extra water, because the substrate was a bit dry, because we ran out of water. All right, and also, finishing a little touch, these branches. I just stuff those in. You know? It says tree fern fiber. Okay. Yeah, let's get those in there. Just a little finishing touch. No one probably will ever notice it, but it's there and just, you know, you did it. <laughs> it just makes it like add detail. Like you don't even notice you're liking it because that's in there. All right, and then I'm just gonna dump it in here. Just like that. It looks charming. 
sure it does. <laughs> it's like a pile of manure. <laughs> okay, and then just mix it in. And make sure you don't like <laughs> um, mess up your uh, screen down there. But yeah, just the little details catch people's eye without them even noticing it, and they like it better. You know? Just pick up these big clumps of moss. I probably should have let that expand longer, but you know, a little video. It, too. I forgot about it earlier. Okay. All right. And then also later on, I'm probably gonna add like a layer of moss over this in some areas, and. It just look good. Okay. Now one thing, you know, obviously you want to watch out for is don't go above this line here in the cage. There you go. Are you good? Okay. Um, don't go above the line there because obviously you don't want your substrate coming over. That's obvious. Just saying that. No. Alright, so yeah. That's your substrate. Just, yeah. Awesome. Alright. Okay, so this is the finished product of my new vivarium. Um, obviously with um, the fogger running as you can see um, that's down there and uh, yeah I showed you the video on how to make that uh, we have a bunch of live plants in here we have some rocks that we got um, it's looking awesome we have the branches in and yeah looks great so you can see if you want to set that down for a second if you want to make a varium like this just follow my steps and it'll come out awesome. Can you see that? With Alan on top. Great. Alright, see you guys later. Yeah, see you later.